Hello, Sam. How are you getting on with your paper aeroplanes? Terrible. Nobody else in Ponty Pandy even likes paper planes. <laughs> Great balls of fire! Oh, 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 Fire in the fire station kitchen. Oh, I say. Got the gas supply, Elvis. Gas supply off. Elvis Cridlington, there was a fire extinguisher right next to the fire exit. Sorry, sir. I think I panicked. What about my stew? Oh! <coughs> You've overcooked the dinner before, Elvis, but never that bad. Firemen are supposed to put out fires, Cridlington, not start them, especially not on Fire Prevention Day. I don't know how it happened. There's something here that might provide a clue. Aha! A paper plane. Perhaps that can tell us who the culprit is. Ah, yes. It's a letter. Uh, there's a name on it. Dear Station Officer Steele. Uh, oh, Station Officer Steele! It was you! No, it wasn't. It was Norman! <gasps> Norman Price! Oh, sorry. It was an accident. I was only trying to find someone who liked paper planes as much as I do. <clears throat> I see. Well, perhaps I should have a word with the lad, Sam. Set him on the straight and narrow, as it were. Good idea, sir. Oh, poor Norman. It probably was an accident. I, I hope Station Officer Steele won't be too hard on him. <laughs> Don't worry, Elvis. I think Station Officer Steele and Norman will reach a happy understanding. The first rule of paper aeroplanes, Norman, is to be careful where you throw them. Now, watch this loop the loop. <laughs> <laughs> cool! Fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain, Sam. Better alert, Tom. Hello, Tom. We're on our way. We just got word of the fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Are you sure, Sam? Oh, okay. Uh, it's standing by. Yeah, I can't see any smoke. Where was the fire you saw, Dillis? There! Over there! I saw the bright orange flames glowing through the trees. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mom, that's the sunset. Norman Price, if you hadn't been telling your mother so many scary stories, this never would have happened. If you're going to carry on like this, we might as well go home right now. Sorry, Trevor. Sorry, Mom. I, I promise not to tell any more stories. Well, we better call back and tell the fire brigade it was a false alarm. What? A false alarm? Uh, stand down, men and woman. False alarm, there's no fire. Repeat, stand down, men. It's a false alarm, Elvis. We'd better go back. <gasps> there's the fire. I'd better phone Sam and let him know. Hello? Hello, Sam. I've located the fire. You'd better get up here. Uh, we're on our way. You tell Station Officer Steele what's happened.
Norman Price, what did I tell you about making up all these scary stories? No, I, I'm not making it up. It's true. Come and look. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, dear. We should never have left the campfire unattended. Tom Thomas calling, Sam. I'm on my way. Where are you? We're just arriving, Tom. Penny, Elvis, bring the hoses. The fire is too far from the road for the hoses to reach Tom. We have to use flex packs and beaters. No worries, Sam. I've filled up the water tanks. I can help you from the air. Norman Price trapped on the cliffs. This sounds like a job for Mountain Rescue. I'll take the chopper, Sam. See you there. But you need to listen carefully to what I say so I can help you. Hello, Tom. We're going to need a double harness down here. No worries, Sam. Come and run up. I'll, I'll make down. OK, Norman. I'm bringing you down a harness. Slip it over your head, Norman, so it sits under your arms. I'm all right, Sam. I've got hold of it. You grab Raider. Whoa! Norman! You need to put this on properly, Norman. Sorry, Sam. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. Never mind. I got you now. Take us up, Tom. Ooh! Some nice hot cocoa to warm you up. We were very lucky Radar was there. He's a very smart dog. He even tried to stop Norman going past the sign. Sorry, Sam. I know what you said, but... So, you didn't find a golden eagle, then? No. I don't think you get many of them around here. <whistles> Ah, it's your little friend, Tom. <laughs> so it is. <gasps> wow. I've never seen a bird this close before. Look at its wings. <coughs> Aw, Radar, you scared it away. Radar did that bird a favour, mate. Poor thing needed to go back to the wild, not hang around here and become a pet. Radar really is a very smart. Stay where you are, Sarah. Uh, Fisherman Charlie is coming. Help! 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 Somebody help me! <sighs> okay, I'm ready now. I'm not. We need to start the camera again. Sarah, help! Never fear, Norman Man's here. Norman, stop messing about. You're not really a superhero. <laughs> I'm going back to call Fireman Sam. <laughs> help! Oh, somebody hurt on the beach. There's somebody hurt on the beach, Sam. Sounds like a Coast Guard job. You better get down to the lifeboat with Penny.
What happened here, Charlie? Oh, uh, hello, Sam. Uh, nothing really. I, I, I just hit a rock and, and fell overboard. Uh, and my foot's stuck in the lobster pot. I, I, I can't get up. Oh, dear. I'll dive down and take a look. You must have been going pretty fast when you hit that rock, Charlie. I know. I was trying to be a hero. We've lost him. Lost who? Shanta. See, I told you I saw him. Never mind, Norman. We've already put up more lights than anybody in Ponty Pandy ever before. But, Mum, haven't we got another giant Santa? No, Norman, that was the last one. Couldn't you order one? Not a week before Christmas, I couldn't. He would never get here in time. You could tell them it was an emergency. Oh, help! Emergency! Not like that, Mum. Don't be daft. <gasps> Mum! Call Fireman Sam! Fire at Dillis's shop. Fire at the cut price supermarket, Sam. We've had a call from Mrs. Price. There's a man overboard in the bay. Wait, Sam. What's up? Another message has come in. There's a man overboard in the bay. Send Penny to man the lifeboat, sir. R -r 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 right, boss, Sam. Penny! I'm already on it, sir. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first. Over there. Right you, Sam. It's OK, Dillis. The fire is out now. Everything is under control. Too many plugs in one of these old adapters. That's what the problem was. Elvis is right, Dillis. Those old adapters are very dangerous. You must be careful not to overload your sockets. I tried to tell my Norman that we had too many lights, but he just wanted more and more and more. Sorry, ma'am. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look who I found swimming in the bay. The man overboard was this blow-up Santa. <gasps> yes! I may have lost my Christmas lights, but at least I've got my blow-up Santa back. <sighs> I'm going to find a better place with lots of muscles before the twins kick them all. You know, Elvis, the jaws of life are a great piece of rescue equipment, but they can't be used for every emergency. I know. Come on, Norman. Pull! Oh. It's wet! And getting wetter. The tide's coming in. We've got to get you out of here. Pull, Norman! I am, I am! But I'm stuck. But I can't leave you here. What are we going to do? Call oh, fire Sam. Sam. Somebody's stuck amongst rocks on the beach.
the beach, Sam. Somebody's stuck. Quick as you can, the tide's coming in. Better bring the jaws of life, Elvis, just in case. Yes! What happened, Charlie? His foot's wedged in tight, Sam. I tried everything. You haven't tried everything. That's right, Elvis. There's one more thing we should try. Can you reach down to untie your laces, Norman? Um, I think so. Yes! Uh, thank you, Fireman Sam. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that. Wait a minute. Where's my lucky bucket? Where did you put it, Norman? Oh, it's gone. Bad luck, Norman. It must have floated away. Come on, we'd better head back before the tide cuts us off. Wait, what about my shoe? <gasps> Never fear, Cridlington's here. Elvis, you saved my shoe. That's what the jaws of life are for. Saving things. <laughs> there we go. Come on, baby. You'll be warm again soon. I've given it all a good clean and it's working again. But I think you need to service it a little more often. Are you sure it's all right, Mike? It's giving off a burning smell or something, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah, you're, you're right, Bromwyn. I, I hadn't noticed that before. Ah! OK, everyone, don't panic. <gasps> keep calm. <gasps> keep calm? How can I keep calm? It's a fire! Tr try chanting, Mike. Just say, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping Never calm. Never mind chanting. Move outside to safety, and someone call Fireman Sam! He's been jogging all day, Sam. I saw him too. Oh, well, he's not jogging now. <laughs> Shh, Elvis. Poor thing. He's exhausted. He sure had you two fooled, jogging all day, honestly. Heater on fire at the fish shop. I didn't know you had a baby. It's not a baby. It's Willie's little lamb. It was all a silly joke. It's my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. It's OK, Sarah. We'll take it from here. Penny, get the breathing apparatus. Elvis, prepare the hoses. I'm going to rescue the baby. Just trying out my new mop, Penny. And I'll have you know that I've decided to walk forward so there won't be any more accidents. No, but there will be footprints. Huh? Why does mopping have to be so complicated? I'll have to order a new belt for your washing machine, Dillis. 
You must have overloaded it. It wasn't me. It was no man. Now you know why I never ask him to do anything. <laughs> yeah, see you, Dillis. Hello. Hi, Mike. No man. Oh, what now? I did the washing. No, you broke the washing machine. Oh, so now you need to ask Mike very nicely if you can wash our dirty clothes in his machine. What? <laughs> but, uh, oh. Have fun, Norman. I wonder if Sarah and James want to go skateboarding. You know, Norman, I don't much like housework either. But if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Emergencies always happen when you don't want them to. Fire at the flat house, Sam. Penny, take Venus as well. From the house, Mike. We'll take it from here. Elvis, switch the electricity off. Okay, Sam. Come back. Come on, let's go home. For all we know, Lion might be back there waiting for us right now. It's a penny! I wish Lion would come back. Rescue, sir. Tell Tom to meet us in the 4x4. I must say I'm glad to see that Mountain Rescue will come out for a cat. Ah, of course we will, Bronwyn. Mountain Rescue's not just for people, you know. There they are, Penny. Hi, Tom. Can we set up a winch so you can lower me down? No worries, mate. OK, Tom. Oh. 
Poor thing. He probably just needs to stretch his legs after being all cramped up. Brilliant! Help! Help! Red is for danger. Red is for danger. Something's wrong. Answer. Better ring emergency services. Oh no! Bronwyn in trouble! Better phone Mountain Rescue! No worries, mate. Uh, I mean, sir, I'll find them. Get out here. Nipper, come back. I can't land here, I'm afraid. I'm gonna need to back up. Sam! I had a feeling I might be needed. What's the problem? My leg! I'll call Nurse Flood. Why isn't anybody answering their phones today? Hello? <laughs> Nipper brought me. Nipper! What a clever boy. You're going to be fine. But we need to get you to a hospital to have this leg x-rayed. Tom, we're going to need a stretcher down here. Roger, on, Sam. Sam will look after you, love. I'll meet you at the Thanks, hospital. Oh, what a great big fuss! And your leg isn't even broken! Bruised is bad enough, James! Sam, you are marvellous! And if it wasn't for Elvis's song, we'd still be stuck on Ponty Pandy Cliffs. Red is for danger, red is what I said. So if you're in danger, the colour is red. Where did I put those tapers? I can't light a thing without them. Again? We'll go and look. Got them. Ready now. No, he mustn't start yet. Go and tell him, Mandy. I can't. He's not allowed to cross the tape. It's the rules. <laughs> oh, what's more important? Lion or a silly bit of tape? Lion! Right now! Oh, that's... Do as I say, it's dangerous! at the Flood's house. Oh, no. The firework party. <laughs> Whoops. Not again. 
there's a fire at the floods. There must have been an accident with the fireworks. Elvis, Sam, take Jupiter, I'll man the control desk. Shed right now. Don't say that, Norman! Sam! Sam! We think Lion might be hiding in Dutch workshop. Again? Okay, we'll check. Missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sam, take Radar with you. Yes, sir. Come on, Radar. Oh, and call Mountain Rescue, sir. Ask Tom to meet me at the Flood's house in the 4x4. Righty ho! <laughs> we need to organize a search party. If we give Radar some clues to sniff, he might pick up their trail. Whereabouts on Ponty Pandy Mountain were they going, Mike? Uh, sorry, Tom. I, I keep racking me brains, but I just can't remember. Um. Oh, now, that looks like Helen's. Here you go, Radar. Find Helen. Ponty Pandy Mountain is that way, Sam. I know. Where is he taking us? We're searching for Penny and your mum, Mandy. Radar took one sniff of your mother's blouse and led us straight here. That's not a blouse. That's a dress and it's mine. Oh, I can't believe you gave Radar the wrong clothes to sniff, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't remember whose was whose. This is definitely Mum's. Wait! I remember! I remember where Helen said they were going. The well path and over tall hill. Come on, Rita. You can find them. Are you all right, Penny? I'll be fine, thanks to Helen. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I won't be long. It's Station Officer Steele's nose. Make sure you all take care now. Oh, at last! Great. Now we can see to test the smoke alarm. Ah, there you go, Dillis. And the rain stopped too. Things are looking up. Hooray! We can have the party and sing the song in the garden after all. Not broken then, are you sure? Quite sure. Just a graze. Oh, I'm glad the power is back on. I don't like the idea of Mike being in charge in the dark. I quite agree, Helen. It's not everyone who can stay calm in the dark, you know. <laughs> oh, sausages are nearly done. Oh, 
And here's Helen. Ma'am! Oh, wonderful. I've arrived just in time and didn't have to do anything. That was the plan. Oh, the napkins. I'll get them. No, I don't want you to do anything, remember? Fireman Sam! <laughs> There's a fire at the flood house! Oh no! Probably something to do with the power cut. I'm back. Not for long, Sam. Come on. Right, so nobody's inside, you say? No, we're all out here. OK. Penny, we'll need breathing apparatus. OK, Sam. Can you turn the electricity off at the mains, Penny? It's off, Sam. So if you have a power cut, you must always switch off your cooker. Otherwise, you might forget when the power comes back on again. Which I did. Oh, and never put anything on a cooker, eh? Like napkins. What a stress flare. Charlie must be in trouble. I'd better call for him and Sam. <laughs> Charlie in trouble on his boat? <laughs> Sea rescue required. Boat in distress in the bay. Ought to be Fisherman Charlie with possible children on board. Norman, the first rule at sea is never panic. Uh, take deep breaths. <sighs> Look, there's Sam and Penny. Sam, Penny. Norman, deep breaths. Oh, sorry. Is anybody hurt? No, just the boat. She'll be OK as long as I keep pumping out the water. Right. Let's get you kids off. Sarah? James? Uh, you stay and help Charlie, Norman. What? But the... <sighs> OK. I'll stay. Thanks, Norman. Well done. We'll give you a tow, Charlie. We need to guide the car back out to sea together. OK? Yes, I think Norman and I will manage. all turned into a bit of an adventure, Dillis. So, who won the fishing competition then? I'd say we all did. It was this big. No, it was this big. We have to go back or we'll get trapped by the tide. We need help. Maybe someone will see me from the rocks. I knew there was never a dinosaur. There was. They're just very good at hiding, that's all. 
James! What? The water! We're trapped! Oh! Yes, I saw them a couple of hours ago. I think they were heading to the beach. Well, they're not back. And the tide's in. And I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Oh, James, Sarah, Norman, missing? Oh, dear. James, Sarah and Norman are all missing. They are seen on the beach. Alert Mountain Rescue, sir. Tom can search from the air. Penny and I will search from the water. Sarah. I got you. But where are Norman and James? They went into the cave, but I don't know if they can get out. The cave entrance looks flooded, Sam. James, look! There's something swimming under the water. Boys. Norman, come back! It's Penny! I knew that. Oh, don't be scared. You're safe now. I'll get you out. But what about me? I'll be right back, Norman. Hold on to me, James. Oh, it's chilly. Don't worry, James. The tide is going out again now. The water's going down. 